So a video footage leak and the allegation that is surrounding this footage is that a popular female celebrity in Jamaica caught in a store stealing a necklace and the allegation is said that the lady seen in this video is a female known as Nikki. Now some speculation I go on say all of this are just published stunt. All of this is probably just for a music video. Now me can't tell you if that female with the in the video is actually this female who wants to the scream right now. But the thing is, fans of this female Nikki, I tag her in the comment section and ask her if this is a music video or not. So obviously, them could have picked up and realized from that previous video when I show you in the first part of the video, so that is actually this female. So, as I said before, the allegation is that it's a music video that come out. Are all of this are just for publicity stunt. We are watching it play out still. What if you not that? Leave it in the comment section. I could talk about something else. US State Department expresses concern that some Jamaican cops could be involved in human trafficking. The United States Department has expressed concern that some members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force could be involved in human trafficking. In its 2021 Trafficking in Purse report, released late last week, the State Department said some police allegedly facilitated or participated in Jamaica sex entire trafficking, ranking which indicate that the Jamaica government does not fully meet the minimum standards for the elimination of trafficking but is making significant efforts to do so. As reported over the past five years, human traffickers exploit domestic and foreign victims in Jamaica and traffickers exploit victims from Jamaica to abroad. This trafficking of Jamaican women and children include boys reportedly a court and street and in nightclub, bar, hotels and private homes including the resort towns said the US State Department. It noted that observers believe these trafficking operations in Jamaica have become more clandestine as a result of the pandemic. Traffickers increasingly use social media platform and false job officer to recruit victims, communities vulnerable, trafficking and forced labor including young women, young women and children from poor or soul, homeless, LGBTQ, Youth residents of Jamaica poverty stricken areas effectively controlled by criminal dance, migrants workers and workers in the informal sector, particularly on family farms and in markets and shops. Alright people, we are caught the article so because this article it contain a lot of information where YouTube them not go really allow them thing there. You see me we can't say can't do say certain things on them platform so if you just cut it right there so but this is nothing surprising to us we know say the police them corrupt already all over the world and mm. the thing where people feel for understand is that corruption is in every organization that's how most people understand every single organization there is there is corruption trust me in everything you do these days there is corruption. Check the facts. We can go on and on. The lawyer them. The doctor them. The judge the every every organization you have, you have corruption. We know it very sad, but I mean it's just a part of the reality where we live in. A, and it not really change. So I mean we have to just go and live with it though. I talk about something else. Reading from article, this is what stated. Estimated 1 billion fix for bull beer flooding problem. It will cost approximately 1 billion to address the issue of flooding in bull beer St. Andrew when deer is sustained every rainfall in the area. According to Member of Parliament, two options have been assessed relocating residents are doing river training on the river in the area and the cost estimate for both are the same. The estimate for both relocation and fixing the river is looking close to $1 billion 
I am waiting on the works, Minister Everald Warmington, who is taking it to the cabinet to assess where we go from here. Ona said during a tour of section of the Bulbia era during Sunday rain associated with Tropical Storm Elsa. According to Ones, the residents will have to decide whether or not they will relocate even though the residents are in danger of being flooded or washed away when there is persistent rain. Ones revealed that Albion in St. Thomas has presently been assessed for relocation of the resident. She also sought to manage their expectations. The area that we are looking at to relocate the individuals is actually Albion in St. Thomas, but relocation is going to be costly. Persons have asked if they are relocated, will they be paid both for their houses and given a free house? The answer I am sure will be no. They have to be practical, but every effort is going to be made to ensure that they are safe, Ulna said. Many of the houses in the area are built without the approval from the relevant authorities and many are elaborate structures. Ulna warned of the dangers of this practice. Once again, I would like to encourage residents. It is obvious that there are some places you should not live and it doesn't make sense that even though we really want somewhere to live that we decide to occupy space that we know will put our lives at risk, she said. People, one of the worst things we do, a lift pan capture land. Can you know what can happen? Because most of the time, you know, when these people live on some capture land or some, or some, or some, or some place we can wash away any time, it's better if we don't just spend no money. Although we know that most Jamaicans will live on them capture land, they can't really afford a piece of land. So that's why they have to do that. But if you can't afford it, no matter save the money. And true, you know, say a, a part, a, a, a piece, a place around this so you can go build up your house and you just go build it up around there. If you have your money, just deal with it the right way. Because when things like this happen, I wouldn't have to feel it, though. No? Well, if you're not that people, leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you want to click the bell. Until the next time, you know where things go. I'm out.